Gary Stein and Greg Firstman back with you in the post game in the wake of Stevenson's big 10 9 win over the Denison Big Red tonight. 10 uh, 9 was the final, and we're joined by head coach Paul Canabine. And just give us a quick thought on your thoughts on this game, and you were able to hold them off at the end. Yeah, I just think we kind of had some silly errors there at the end, you know what I mean? So that kind of hurt us a little bit. And uh, we got to be smarter how we end that. It's about the, you know, some of our parts, not that the individuals, though some of our guys got a little bit out of line there a little bit, especially we got the penalty and then, you know, Mitch makes a little mistake there, that which which cost us because we ran the time down and then dead. And then we made a little mistake there with Ryan, not running behind the goal and the double there. And uh, so we got to do better in those situations. But our D got us a, a great stop in the end is what we, we always rely on them and they played really great all year. But uh, for the fans, you know, we wanted everybody to be there and get those viewerships up. So we wanted the really good ending, which uh, we were able to give you. Well, you accomplished that. <laughs> yeah, we, we appreciate that. It made it a lot more fun in the booth. Uh, no look, Dennison had a really good run in the second quarter. Yep. Right. Got it close. What did you tell the team at half that uh, I was obviously I thought a different Stevenson team came out at halftime. So what did you tell them? Well, I really didn't think we played that well in the first half. To tell you the truth, I thought that we didn't really uh, move the ball as well as we should have. I thought we were getting very tight in our offensive sets, and I thought we just had to spread out a little bit and just let the ball do the work for us a little bit and spread them. I thought once we spread them out a little bit, I thought we did some really good things and uh, helped us. And I, and I thought defensively we were just being passive again. We just weren't playing our greatest. I thought then once we got out there and Ryan and and. Uh, and Nick Mullevy just did a great job, and uh, and our polls, you know, Damian and uh, Shell did a great job. Eddie went down to the mine grain and couldn't play just before the game, and so not having him, those two guys really stepped up and really helped us, which was great. And so I told everybody they're gonna, everybody needs to play at some point this season, and so they did a great job um, with that. But uh, you know, I thought we did a good job coming out, and that shows a sign of a good team to come out with. You know, when you didn't play your best in the first half, to really come out with great energy in the second half. Coach always helps when you got a shot stopper like Paust in the back there. Just talk yeah. a little bit about him. Well, Mark. Did a great job, you know. Mark's been a, a good goalie for us, and uh, you know I thought he made some really key saves for us when he got when they got free, and and that's what he does though. Mark's just a re, he's a lot of experience. He's been a solid kid for us back there, and I think our defense trusts him. So when they make a mistake, you know Mark can bail him out. So I thought the stops he made were crucial, especially some of those in the middle of the third quarter when he got a couple fouls there. I thought he did a great job of that, and uh, and but we got to clear the ball a little bit better. But you know we did all right, we got it done, and uh, you know we're happy that Mark's on our team. That's for sure. <laughs> well, Twenty-four out of thirty, I'm sure doesn't really please you all that much. But it was good enough, and certainly it was good enough. Tonight. Yeah, I think I think we got you know we threw like Matt threw two away in the first quarter to wide open guys, and then we got doing shell. You know, it's got to make a little better pass there in the fourth quarter. I think we kind of gave him a few, and you know then and uh, and, and then one of them is uh, you know um, Quinn got the ball taken from him, just kind of being a little bit lazy there, and they took and scored a goal off that. So you know we kind of gave him a few that we weren't happy with, but I think we're getting better there and being smarter. All right, sounds good. And we're gonna let uh, Jack Scaliti come in here. He had a Mind big game. Jack, let's go. 